So in this video, we're gonna take a quick look at Teams Connect, which is how you can share a channel with external people or other teams more easily than you could do before. I'm Gavin Jones, a former transformation manager for a Fortune 500 company, I'm now founder of MeTime, where we help save people time at work to do more of the things they love. If you want help finding out how you can make your organization more productive, to have more time for well-being and engagement using Microsoft 365, then stick around until the end for some more details about how we might be able to work together. We've got new videos on Microsoft 365 and Microsoft Teams coming out every Tuesday, so make sure you hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified every time one of those comes out. So let's go and have a quick first impressions look at Microsoft Teams Connect, which was announced at Microsoft Ignite. Before Teams Connect comes out, if you want to share a team externally at the moment, that requires you to completely jump out of your own tenant and into another one. So if I just quickly go onto my teams. So here's all the teams that I am in in my tenant, and here's some hidden teams of my tenant. I'm also invited to a team from Microsoft with Workplace Analytics, which was which is now called Microsoft Viva, but I can't see their team or channel in my left-hand side rail. I have to come up to my little head icon, click that, and only there I see Me Time Limited and then Microsoft Guest. Not sure if it's because I'm now in preview, but the notifications for another tenant seem to have disappeared. They come on mobile, but they don't come on the desktop app anymore. I used to get a little red one there if there was a message in Microsoft, and I could see there's a message there waiting for me, which doesn't happen anymore. But if I want to then work with another company, like if you've got an external design agency or you've got a project with some consultants on, you want to have them join the team so you can all work in one shared workspace. At the moment, you need to invite them to a team. You can't just invite them to one channel, you need to invite them to the whole team. They then become a guest and the guest access is uh, a bit muddy depending on what you can and can't do, such as before video recordings went on to OneDrive and SharePoint, it went into Stream, any guests couldn't see your recorded videos. They can see some SharePoint pages, but they can't see some elements within those pages, such as videos if they're in Stream. Uh, so it gets a bit muddy and the documentation wasn't great. So Teams Connect is hopefully gonna make that a lot more simple. If I just show you, when I click on Microsoft, it's gonna jump me completely out of MeTime's tenant. It takes a while, it spins up, and then jumps me into the Viva Insights team in Microsoft, which as it says is moving to something else. And then if I wanna go back, I won't get any notifications about chats or anything in MeTime Limited. I then have to jump completely back into MeTime to then go and check. So as you can see, if you've got a lot of different projects working with different external people, that's why I used to say, it's better for the customer to set that guest access up rather than a supplier because you don't want your customers to be doing that switching. You want it to be as easy as possible for them and, as, and you know you take the pain if you're the supplier. Teams Connect, if we jump back, is going to make that a lot more easy. So you can then share just one channel to someone external uh, and then you get a little icon to show that that, that channel is being shared. So at least you know which channels uh, have got external people in and which haven't, because obviously that can get quite uh, nerve-wracking or dangerous depending on what sort of things you want to discuss without the customer in say uh, you probably want a channel to work on stuff internally before you then share it with the customer but if obviously if it's a project and you've got a consultant then that might be okay so as it says shared channels are a scalable boundaryless experience which can be shared with individuals and teams across multiple organizations so that's a bit i didn't know was coming which was surprising which is great so as well as just adding external people you can add a whole other team. So I'm not sure if that works with an external team. Presumably it's just to be shared across other internal teams. The only site we've got on it is this uh, is this GIF that's going around. But if you can share a channel across teams, that makes your teams and channel structure it might make it easier, it might make it more complicated, who knows. But there are certainly some instances, especially if you're doing integrated business planning, where you might want to share some channels across some other teams. Say so if you're going up the hierarchy to some senior people, they might have their own team to be, you know, talk about stuff that's uh, private or, you know, mergers and acquisitions that they can't share with anyone else. They might then want a feed up from another team and then you can just share that channel and it's going to appear in both teams, which is great for ease of getting back to stuff. Obviously, if you've worked with me, your team structure will be quite simple anyway, because that's what I do at MeTime, help people with the team structure because that makes everything else easier or irrelevant 
and then move on to all the other stuff in Microsoft 365. If you want to know more about working together, then click one of the links in the description below and we can connect. So this was just a quick first look. If you want to know more about everything else that's coming out in Microsoft 365, then click the subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified every time a new video comes out. If you like this video, click the thumbs up before you leave because it really helps us in the YouTube algorithm. And if you really liked it, consider buying me a beer using the link in the description below. It really helps support the channel and keep free content coming out on YouTube. But thanks for watching so far and I'll see you in the next video.